Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Right behind me is a W124 M103 engine, 3 liters, 6 cylinder. We will have a look at the fuel delivery system sitting underneath next to the rear axle. Today's topic, how to bridge that fuel pump relay in order to carry out all necessary tests of its functioning. Hello again, this is our W124 from underneath. Please see picture at the right hand side. This is what is underneath the protective plastic cover. That cover here is being held into place with four bolts. Two right here at the front side, one here at the rear end and one further up close to the rear axle mount. I'll start with that one. Make sure you got a prolongation to unbolt that one dass er auf die drauf kommt, an die ihr dann losschrauben könnt. Pull the plastic to the rear a little to make it come loose. Surprise, surprise, looks fine to me. Here we go. Pressure accumulator, filter and pump. It all looks neat, neat and nice. When you turn the ignition key to position 2, you should hear a humming noise coming from the pump, accumulating pressure. Can you hear it? Well, it worked. All checks, if malfunctioning, are being made here. Fuel pressure measuring before and after the fuel divider to check fuel pressure. And the relays is hidden underneath here with all W124 models. Please see picture on the left hand side. Right, here behind that cover, easy access, remove cover behind battery, there is the control unit as well. This Kia Chetronic control unit being easily removed, just pull it towards you, put it on the battery so you have access to that fuel pump relay. Just pull it upwards, this is it. With the size of a pack of silk cut. I now bridge socket number 7 and number 8 and the fuel pump starts working. Please see picture on the right. Me, being an absolute genius, I've invented this magnificent tool here. Two wires with a 10 ampere fuse in between. I'll just connect port 8 and 7. Do you hear that humming noise? This is coming from the fuel pump. Once I disconnect these two ports, the pump stops. So this is the easiest way to bridge the fuel pump while conducting pressure measurements and checks at the accumulation of fuel lines. So, and wie man jetzt hört, end hoses, ceilings, flow divider, system pressure, pressure in upper and lower chamber. So this is how to do it with a W124 300E M103 engine type E30 from 1991. First thing to check are always seals, fuel lines and hoses. It is useless to connect your pressure gauge anywhere when fuel pressure is blown out at some untied sealing or old and rotten braided hose. I will include the information charts and guidelines concerning a 560 SL engine M117 but they have pretty much the same procedure. Links are below with the video. Description. Hope you have liked it. Hope to see you around next time. Bye bye everyone.